Whew. Mate, what a whiting session. Absolute killer. Woo. Bubble. Woo. Oh. <laughs> Oh, it's a stonker. That's probably fish of the day, mate. Oh, my God! Righto. Welcome back, folks. So I actually packed up Dom's Fishing Adventures. I'm out fishing here with James again. And we're just going to go for um, a simple whiting run. Mainly because the demersal band is up here in Perth. We can't catch snappers. I did catch that beauty one in my last episode. So we're just going to go for whiting. Not even worried about the squid. And just have a good time. Oh, James is double one. Double! Woo! Oh! <laughs> nice one. Beauty, mate. So what, what's the bait you're using there, James? Just a bit of squid. Yeah. That's it. Long, long shank hooks. Long shank and look. Just the, uh, they're not even getting the bait off. Oh, squeeze the best, isn't it? It is. It stays on, you can use them for multiple times. Oh. There you go. That's good. Hand like that again. So I'm going to use the GoPro as a sinker. See if I can get any footage. It'll probably be really shaky, but see what's happening. It's not very hairy too, so. Oh, that's the pound, isn't it? Yeah. So in slightly deeper water, just about to start the engine and piss off somewhere else. There you go. Woo. That's a small one. Right underneath the boat. Yep, oh, that's nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah, some big juicy plum whiting out here. Best eaten fish ever. And as I and I said this before, whoop, caviar of the ocean right here. Bad thing about all this fish, you've got to clean them all up. Nice one. Woo! Come on, James. You gave your back to your boat. <laughs> That's a good one, mate. That's a stonker, that's got to be fish of the day, mate. That's got to be fish of the day. You've got to measure him up. I reckon he's about 33. I love this 
like so much. He swallowed the whole lot. Looks cool. Oh. Yeah. And you can just feel them. Oh, look at this one. Woo! Oh, when they come out of the water, you're like going, wow, that's another massive one. But they're pretty all average size, aren't they? Average size whitings. No, it's one. Okay. I must be getting quick. Good luck. Looks like it's too big whiting. Oh, what a big one. Woo. That's a beauty. <laughs> Are you keeping the snook? Oh, it's got good fillets. Fish are very good. In fact, they call them a sabre tooth whiting. No, it's seriously, yeah. In the New South Wales. Oh, another. Oh, oh my God! King George. Yeah, beauty. James, well done. We found him. Woo! You bloody beauty. <laughs> well, mark this spot. That's a ripper. Hey, look at that. Oh, <laughs> well, that's a three-pointer. James, well done, that's a beautiful fish. It's called a King George Whiting. I've been trying to chase this for a while. James, luckily I put him on the right spot. I knew they were here. <laughs> that's it, I knew there was a bit more weight in that. Lovely, man. He's a ripper. He's a ripper, right? Well done. Oh, that's... Oh, a typical Whiting. So we've got no... <laughs> Whew, mate, what a whiting session. Absolute killer. Big, juicy, fat whiting, sand whiting. Star of the show, James's King George whiting. Well done, mate. Beautiful specimen. And uh, we'll definitely head back in. Lovely whiting. See you next time, or maybe at the cook-up. Not too sure. All these cook-ups, I'm starting to get a bit of a tire. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Alrighty, so it's time for the cook up. I've got these two beautiful big sand whiting. I'm just going to cook it up really simple. Basically, what I've got here is chopped up garlic. And I'm going to chop up this parsley. Got some breadcrumbs and a bit of olive oil. A bit of seasoning. You can't go wrong. So let's chop up the parsley first. Got the breadcrumbs, put the garlic in here, probably put about half the parsley, and get some of this uh, look at some seasoning, a bit of pepper, a bit of salt, get some oil in here, that's basically what I'm doing. I'm going to stuff the carry of the fish with this here and whatever's excess I'll just dribble all around it. Something that my mum used to do and it's not a bad way of having a nice fresh fish nice and simple in the oven cook within 10 minutes <coughs> you don't have to worry about deep frying it so it's more healthier. So that's the cavity. Now ideally you should get rid of that black Back lining, because it can can give you a bit of taste to the fish. So it's all cleaned, plus the gills are out. Just throw the stuff in right here. So that's just cook all the juices of the fish will get in there and you can actually pick it later on. Terrific. Right, so what I'm going to do is 
Choose a small. Now you can use non-stick paper. I probably should, but I won't. <laughs> and stone some parcel all around here. And the rest of the bread comes, you can just put a crumble on top. What I forgot to do is actually cut this. Probably no reason to do it because it's a small fish, but just in case. I'll just cut it on the one side, there's no use to do it on the bottom, the other side. That there, my friend, a little oil. And you can put anything, you can put some tomatoes, onions, any old chives or anything you want, but that's just the way I'm cooking it here for tonight. Goes in the oven, 10 minutes, maybe 15. Too easy. It goes straight into the oven. I can't cover it up, I think I will. Does the fish, I don't want it to burn out too much. And if it's getting too dry in there, you can put in a cup of water or better even a white wine. Which I might do that later on. Right, so it's about a moderate 180. Don't get too technical. Again, time for a drink, sit back and enjoy it. Just wait for it to cook up. Alrighty. Cool. Let's have a look at this. Yeah. That looks pretty good. That looks El Supremo. Now, where's a fork? Good way to test it is if you put it in and it goes in without any resistance and then just sort of lick the fork it's nice and warm you know it's cooked yeah that's beautiful and what I'll do I'll just scoop the flesh off the bones are over here but all this with no bones at all people get scared about eating fish on the bone because there might be too many bones but it's just an absolute pleasure to do that what I'm going to do while I'm here I'll just turn this off he's going to have a taste so you can see that flesh and that is just oh. oh that is just really nice I, I can taste the, the wine of course but the salt and pepper just give it just a oh, just a joy and you can't find this in restaurants mm. I did end up putting some white wine in here just to sim it off and it's giving you a bit of um acidity so I said put lemon juice a bit of white wine there and it sort of slowly evaporates now it's really tangy it's delicious absolutely beautiful have a bit more right here on mm. make sure I get to the bottom and just peel off the backbone and you have the fillet underneath and I'm just going to try some of the filling as well that's nice it's got a slight tint of the fish but otherwise it's just we need to suck up all the the juices i'm going to go sit down enjoy this with the crew and um i absolutely adore whiting cooking it nice and simple is the best way if you like what i'm doing and you're new to the show make sure you subscribe like it because there's going to be a lot more episodes like this cooking catching all that kind of stuff and um until then dom petite we'll see you next time take it easy Ooh, joy. Fish, mm. taka. Fish, taka. Trying to form a glass of wine. Taka, man. I think I had two already while I was waiting fish, to, to cook up. Fish, taka. Fish, taka. Fish, taka, man. Fish, taka. Fish, taka. Fish, taka, man. Fish, taka. Fish, taka. The fish, taka, man.